Welcome to Gateway Community College. I'm Christina and I work in the Student Success Center at Gateway. You are about to start a major step in developing academic and professional skills for your future success. Soon, you'll be ready to meet one-on-one -on -one with me or another academic advisor to plan specific classes for the upcoming semester and beyond. Before that, we're going to go over important information to prepare you for your time at college, such as important terminology, technology, and campus resources. You can follow along in your student resource packet, and I encourage you to keep a copy of this resource packet as a reference throughout your time at Gateway. On the first page of this packet, you'll see a technology checklist. It's best to complete these technology steps before meeting with your academic advisor. Several of these steps have guides within the packet if you're having trouble. And at any point, you can get more help from the Student Success Center. Let's get started. Where do you see yourself in two years? What about five or 10 years down the road? Is there a specific career you want or a goal you'd like to accomplish? If you have a general idea of the field you're interested in, like business or healthcare, that's a great start. Or maybe there's an area you know you don't like. This can still help you narrow down your options. If you're undecided at this time, that's completely normal. I myself was undecided when I started college. Gateway offers many career exploration resources as well as survey courses to see what fits you best. Our general studies and liberal arts and sciences programs are ideal for students who are unsure of their career goals. Both of these programs focus on basic courses that appear in most degrees. Our liberal arts and sciences program, while still general, is one program option designed to prepare students who wish to continue on for a bachelor's degree. The courses within this program will transfer into a wide variety of degrees at schools in-state, out-of-state, public and private institutions. It's helpful to know if you plan to continue on for an upper level degree or are considering it. Maybe there are specific schools you'd like to go to. Various programs at Gateway are designed for students that wish to continue on for a bachelor's degree, several in specific fields. The most important thing is to continually think about what you want, even what you don't want, so our team can help build the best plan for your individual goals. If you change your mind later on, that's okay. Many students will change programs throughout their time in college. Your goals may change or get more specific, and we can help update your individual plan at that time. Our packet reviews some common terms and questions you may have. A prerequisite is a course that's required before you can take another course. You can think of it as a requirement that must be met before you register for the class you want. For example, Elementary Spanish 1 is a prerequisite to Elementary Spanish 2. A syllabus is your contract with the instructor. This important document, given to you by your instructor, details what the class is going over, how you will be graded, guidelines for submitting work, and a breakdown of when assignments are due, as well as test dates. It may also include makeup or extra credit opportunities. An associate's degree is a minimum of 60 credits, half of a bachelor's degree, which is a minimum of 120 credits. An associate's degree takes two years to complete if you take five classes each semester with a C or better in every class for four semesters. However, on average, it takes students two to five years to complete their associates, 
because not everyone is able to take five classes each semester. Many of us work, have families, or other obligations that can limit how much time we can commit to school. Specialty programs can also vary. Our nursing program, for example, is a selective admission program. This means you have to complete several courses before you can apply to the program for a chance at being accepted. A typical pre-nursing student will take prerequisite courses for one to two years before applying. If accepted into the program, the additional nursing coursework is two years to complete an associate's degree and be a registered nurse, or RN. So how many classes should you take? That depends on how much time you can commit to school. A typical class requires three hours a week in the classroom, and on average, another six hours a week of homework and study time to be successful in that class. This is a total of nine hours a week for one class. Being a full-time student requires 12 credits or more in a regular semester, typically four classes or more. This means committing 36 to 45 hours a week to schoolwork to be full-time, just like having a full-time job. I work 40 hours a week and have other responsibilities outside of work that are important to me. I would not be able to take four or five classes and commit another 36 hours or more to school. I wouldn't have time to eat or sleep or spend time with my family. It just wouldn't work for me. I would be comfortable committing up to 18 hours for one or two classes at this time, but each student is different. It's much easier to maintain a strong GPA than to repair a weak one. A balanced course load is a great tip for success. Your academic standing is very important. We reviewed that your grade point average, or GPA, is important. This is a numerical average of your grades and one part of your academic standing. A 2.0 or higher is required to graduate. That's a C average in your classes. Selective admission programs and transfer institutions can require higher than that. For example, our nursing program requires your pre and co-requisite classes to average a 2.7 or higher. That's a B minus or more. If you want to transfer to UConn after graduation, you'll want a 3.0 or a B minimum and a 3.3 or a B plus minimum for UConn School of Business. Again, if you have specific goals, be sure you know what grades you need to meet those goals. The second part of your academic standing is your progress percent or PACE. This is a percentage of credits that you are passing successfully you need to pass a majority of credits attempted to remain in good standing. Financial aid packages also have specific academic standards. You can use those awards for three credits or more as long as you meet their specific standards. Be sure to review all the details of academic standing in your resource packet and ask your advisor any questions. Knowing your resources is another important part of success. There are many different academic support services at Gateway. Our Student Success Center, my office, is one example. We offer academic advising and special programs and workshops for academic success. Our Center for Educational Services, or CES, offers tutoring. Our Writing Center can give you feedback on a paper in your English class or any college level writing assignment. Our library has a variety of services and textbooks available, as well as space for group and project work. Student accessibility services can assist with accommodations for students with a documented disability. 
These, along with all our other offices and student services, are free and available to you as a Gateway student. Gateway is proud of the technology we offer to students, one of the most useful tools you may have already begun to use. That is your MyComNet student portal, where you have lots of additional Gateway resources. Inside your MyComNet account, you have access to Blackboard, an online tool instructors can use to assign and collect work provide additional materials, as well as make announcements. If you have any issues within Blackboard, the best resource is our Distance Learning Office. This office specializes in Blackboard support and can likely answer technical questions your instructor might not be able to answer. I took a Spanish class last spring semester. My syllabus listed 25% of my grade would be completing five hours each week on Rosetta Stone. The trouble was, I couldn't get into the program from my account, and my professor wasn't exactly sure why. Thankfully, within the first few classes, I connected with Distance Learning, who explained I needed to use a different internet browser. I was able to get into the program and catch up on the hours I had missed. If I waited too long, I may have had too much to catch up on. And if I never fixed the problem, I would be risking a big part of my class grade. Your MyComNet account also gives you access to DegreeWorks. This program allows you to generate a degree audit where you can track your progress towards completing your program you can see which classes you've completed in your specific degree or certificate and which ones you still need to complete. You can even generate an audit for different programs you're considering. Accessing your Office 365 college email account is also in MyComNet. Your school email is how you'll receive all communication from the college. Many messages we send include private information that cannot be sent through your personal Gmail or Yahoo account. So checking your student email regularly is very important. Be sure to add your student email account to your mobile phone through your account settings or the Microsoft 365 app. Inside your MyComNet account, you will also have access to Banner Self-Service. This section of your portal offers the availability to register for classes, drop classes before they start, view your financial aid, view your schedule, request official transcripts, and pay your fees as well. You have several options to pay for your course tuition and fees. Costs and options are listed in your resource packet. If you plan to pay out of pocket for tuition, you have the option of setting up a payment plan. This allows you to make partial payments throughout the semester rather than paying all at once. If you use financial aid assistance for tuition costs, you need to apply each academic year. The initial application typically takes two or three weeks to process. If you're unsure about the status of your application or if you're eligible for financial aid, you should contact their office directly. If you register now and your financial aid funds are not yet available, you may be dropped out of your classes for non-payment. The same class or class times may not be available when you try to register again. You can avoid this by putting down a small deposit and enrolling in a payment plan option to hold your spot in your classes. But keep in mind, if you're not eligible to use financial aid for any reason, you would need to drop classes before they begin or you will still be responsible for the tuition laid out in your payment plan. Another important college resource is connecting with your advising experts. We talked a little about advising availability in my office, the Student Success Center, 
There are also program experts for each program Gateway offers. Program experts are the faculty members of the college that develop, implement, and teach the programs that you are in. They're a wonderful resource for advising, as well as help planning for your future, such as transferring to another college or university. They offer highly specific information about your program and should be the primary source of advising. We're just about ready for advising and registration. Remember to think about your specific career and academic goals. Share these goals with your advisor. Discuss a course load that works for you and continue to meet with advisors throughout your program at Gateway. Good planning is key to saving time and money when completing your education goals. Tips for schedule building and the student planning sheet in your packet will help you build a schedule for the upcoming semester that fits your needs. Be sure to follow up on the checklist after registering for classes. You will want to confirm your payment method, get your Gateway Student ID card, and get your textbooks so you're ready for the first day of class. We value your feedback and want to hear from you if you have any questions or concerns. We're available to help you reach your goals, so be sure to connect with us throughout your journey. Once again, welcome to Gateway Community College and good luck in your upcoming semester.